Yo, what is good, man? It's your boy Tico, guys, and we are back. My current GNGs with another update, man. This is a tutorial on showing you guys how to actually add and remove headbands to NBA players in NBA 2K21 current gen on Xbox and the PlayStation. If you got an Xbox One, Xbox One S, or Xbox One X, or if you got a PS4, PS4 Pro, I have it goes. This is the video you want to watch and pay attention to to actually get your rosters right. For say, if you want to go ahead and create you a My League and you want to have those rosters correctly, the way you want to see it, you want to have those headbands added, these accessories updated to your latest and greatest NBA player in the game. Just follow the directions in this video so if you want to go to my career as well you want to take that roster update or that roster uh, set into the actual game in my career you can actually do so. so with that being said don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be subscribed to know when these videos you know what I'm saying just do their thing and just be a, a part of the gang and anyway also don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the videos drop know the gang in the building I'm giving shout outs y'all know how I do giving the shout outs and also don't forget to hit that like button because it helps us in the algorithm to grow team Tico, current GNGs, we're going to continue to grow our gang and still enjoy what we got, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so with that being said, let's go ahead and go to features. So we're going to go to features first. Now, what you do is go to create a player. Now, basically what I did is I had to create a brand new player and actually put the headband on him or put the headband off of him. So we're going to start out by creating a player and I'm just going to go and go into accessories. Now, make sure you go to create a player, go into accessories, and add that headband right now. So I go and add the headband, and if I feel like the actual person is going to have a NBA logo on it, I put it on the front. Some people have the NBA logo in the back. However it goes, you just want to do that. Some people got the Nike logo. It just really solely depends on how you want to actually edit your player, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put an NBA logo uh, on the front, right? So let's go ahead and go front. All right, cool. So you see all these accessories here. Now this stuff is already default and created by NBA 2K. And this is how they do it. So I just leave it like that, right? So here you go. You have your actual player and you have the actual little NBA logo. So I hit complete and I keep changes in return. So the new player I just created, his name is Wendell Park, right? Well, what I want to do is add a headband to an NBA player. Now, this may work for some NBA players. Due to the way the hair is designed, it may work or it may not work. All right? So let's go ahead and go to edit player. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to import player DNA. So I'm going to import player DNA. Use an NBA player. And I just got to find an NBA player I want to use and add a headband to. Like I say, this is going to work for some. And this is going to work. This is not going to work for some. Right? So let's see. I'm going to look for someone who actually wears a headband. Or I mean, matter of fact, I can just probably put it on somebody that I want to put it on. Whatever, whatever. You can do a, a, a random person. So let's go ahead and go. Let's just do this slowly. Uh, I don't think Zach Levine has a headband, so I may just do Zach Levine. So we're going to import appearance and attributes. Select which parts of Zach Levine's shooting guard you would like to import. I want to import the entire Zach Levine in the game, right? So you see Zach Levine right here. He's in here. Next gen scan is in the game. We good to go, right? All right, so let's go to accessories. I want to go up to accessories, and I'm going to look for what's red. So you see the Nike padded sleeve, white swoosh, right? I go left, boom. There is your headband. So as soon as I change the red option that's in red, his headband actually pops on his head, right? This is it. You have Zach Levine with a headband in the game. That's how I actually did that, guys. And what you do is if you want to assign this Zach Levine to a team, you go out, you go down to complete, keep changes in return. So now if you go ahead and go through your creative players, you're going to see Zach Levine. So you go in and edit player and boom, Zach Levine is in the game with a headband. Now I know it looks crazy with the hair hanging out the sides. This is just like a little workaround to actually get the headband on the player, right? This is not something that 2K has in next gen where you can actually add the headband because in next gen 2K, you can go in and add a headband to pretty much any player in the game. So this is the way that we do it on current gen to actually add it. Another kicker is, okay, so you go there, you look at the contract. You can actually go in and alter the contract like you want to. It should, it should give you that. Okay, hold up. It should give you that. There you go. See, so you can alter that contract the way you want to. So if you want to go in and edit this and make this contract exactly what the team has, because what you're going to have to do is remove the current Zach Levine off of the roster when you add them to the roster. You're going to have to put this one in and remove the other one. 
if y'all understand what I'm saying. So you can do that. That's going to be one thing. But in the ones that I did, I didn't touch the contract. I just left it as is. So I'm going to go complete. And we're going to go ahead and keep changes in return. Now we're going to go and look for a player with a headband. And we're going to remove it, right? So we're going to create a player. All right. So we're going to go to accessories. And we're going to take this headband off this guy. No headband, right? So let's go out. And then we're going to save this guy right here. So let's go to complete. Keep changes in return. His name is um, Jaden Cunningham, right? So we're going to go in, edit player, go all the way down, and we're going to go import player DNA. Use NBA player. Now, we know that Anthony Davis is a headband person. He wears a headband. Of course, boom. Lakers, Anthony Davis, import appearance and attributes. Select which parts of Anthony Davis you would like to import. Let's go ahead and click import appearance and attributes. Click it. All right, let's see if we can take that off. All right, so we go to accessories and if anything is rated out, we hit a button, go left, and it takes the headband off Anthony Davis. And that's exactly how you go about doing it, bro. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, that's how it works. So. If you guys have any questions questions or concerns about how this works, Bruh. leave a comment low or comment below. I said comment low. Bruh. Leave a comment below in the comment section and I can talk to you. I can probably go a step by step, you know, uh little step thingy, one, two, three, four, checklist and, and get it for you where I can help you with it. But this is the way I actually do it. Maybe I should go deeper. I should go deeper. All right, so we're gonna save. We're gonna save this. So we're gonna go to complete. Keep changes in return. All right. We got the guys in there. They're actually in the creator player pool. So what we want to do is create a roster now. All right. Click it, NBA. And we're going to go with the official 2K Sports roster. We're going to start from scratch, right? So I did Anthony Davis. So basically what I got to do is go left bumper back or L1 back. And then L1 back or left bumper back again. Now, this is the Anthony Davis that I actually just made that I took the headband off of, right? So we're going to click on him and we're going to copy him to team. Now, I know I should get rid of the Anthony Davis first. I'm going to try to copy him to team and see what happens. Okay, so assign Anthony Davis to the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm going to go yes. Now he's a Laker, right? So let's go ahead and go to the Lakers. That's two Anthony Davises. Now, you're going to know which Anthony Davis is the one you did because you're going to see it at one year, right? Look at the contract. It's going to say one year, eight, nine, six K or whatever. And then you're going to see the other Anthony Davis, which is going to be four years, 146.68 million for four years, 96. They both the same thing. It's just one is making less. But you can always go in and alter that, like I showed you before, that you can change the contract and the salary, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this Anthony Davis. So I'm going to delete this one. You can either send it to free agency or delete it from the roster. So I can delete this one from the roster. Boom, right? Now we can go in, edit player. Boom. Now we got the Anthony Davis with no headband. So that's exactly how I did that. Let's go look at him right here. Boom. AD. So I can, it's like sky's the limit. You can edit and do whatever you want to do to the player you want to do it to. It's just some players that restrict you using headbands. Like, who was that? Um, I think it was Kelly Oubre. His hair is a glitch. So if you put a headband on him, his hair pretty much goes bald probably can show it to you. But there's your Anthony Davis. I imported Anthony Davis into the roster. He's good to go. And this is how it works. It's not really hard to do. So, boom. All right. Let's try... Um, who was that I added one to? Let's go and find it. All positions. Okay, so here we go. It was Zach, Okay, it was Zach Levine. So, Zach Levine. Let's go ahead and copy the team. Copy the Bulls. Sheesh. Okay, so when you have too many people on the team, you got to go and get rid of somebody, right? All right, so let's go to the Bulls. Let's go get rid of Zach Levine. Let's um, let's just ugh, let's delete from the roster. All right, and let's go look for Zach Levine right here. Copy to team Bulls. Boom. All right, so let's go back to Bulls and look at Zach Levine. This should be the headband version of Zach Levine right here. Boom. All right, there we go. Accessories. This is the Zach Levine with the headband. Boom. So that's how y'all do it. If y'all have any questions and concerns, leave it in the comment section below and um, I will show y'all. I mean, hopefully this is easy enough for you guys to understand how to do these edits because I had to play with it for a few days and I started getting real savvy with it, started getting real good with the current version of 2K with these headbands and these edits and then boom, 
it just happened. I was just cold at it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and updates, guys. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when updates and tutorials, all that stuff comes out. And don't forget to hit that like button, guys. I'm telling you, it helps us a lot in the algorithm. YouTube shows us a lot of love and you do so. I just want to say thank you for all you do. Happy holiday to you. It's your boy Tico. I am out. Peace out. Six.